The battle pack system in Battlefield 1 has been subject of a lot of chatter since it was announced and implemented with the launch of the game. It's very different from its previous iteration in Battlefield 4, and many players don't feel like having them randomly awarded at the end of multiplayer matches is really the best way to go, and the infrequency of earning them has meant a lot of players don't really care for the system all that much anymore. Well, we have some good news today. DICE appears to have been working on that feedback and is on the verge of implementing a brand new system for how battle packs will be distributed in Battlefield 1. The end of round screen is where we're going to be seeing the front of the changes and really it's the most important part. Currently, the end of round screen in multiplayer, a bar of icons will appear at the bottom showing the avatars of the players who received a battle pack at random for playing in that round. It is purely random and there's no way you can really guarantee one. That is what is changing. Here I have an image of the brand new system. The icons of all those players who were randomly selected have been replaced with your own personal battle pack meter. This shows your current progress towards being rewarded with a battle pack and the meter fills up after every round you play. So you're always progressing towards a new battle pack. But your performance during the round will affect by how much you move towards your prize. If you play well during a round, you'll reach your battle pack faster. If you have an average round or a poor round, or even if you come in fairly late into a round, you're still going to move towards getting a new battle pack, just not at the same rate as someone who's really helping their team and playing the objective. So the whole new system is built around how much you play Battlefield 1, because every round you play, you will always move towards a new battle pack. And if you perform really well, you'll increase your chances of getting it quicker than if you just have an average round. Now, according to DICE, this changes to help players understand their overall progress within Battlefield 1. And that, to me, sounds like just a piece of the brand new progression system that's coming to the game that will be fully active in September with the launch of the In the Name of the Tsar DLC. And I personally think it's great to see DICE take this step because this is essentially the solution that players have suggested since perhaps a couple of weeks after the launch of the game. Players wanted to feel like their input during multiplayer rounds was being rewarded, rather than battle packs being handed out randomly based on a lottery. And DICE has delivered that and then implemented a nice progression element on top. This new system will start to roll out on June 29th, so you can expect to see it pop up for you relatively soon, but it may not activate instantly for you. It is rolling out in waves. You can restart your Battlefield 1 game on June 29th and you should see it come up, but if you don't, just be patient, go make a cup of tea and <laughs> come back a little bit later. You might have also noticed in that picture that DICE has redesigned the class rank displays on the end of round screen as well. It's so much easier to see now which of your classes need a little bit more work and perhaps others that you've already hit rank 50 on. So overall there, I think that's a nice little improvement to the battle pack system. Of course, nothing's changed about what's actually awarded in battle packs, and that's perhaps something that can be addressed either in the future of Battlefield 1 or at this stage of the game, I think, that's going to be something coming in Battlefield 2018. I think we're too deep into the life cycle of Battlefield 1 now to really see too much more being changed. I think it's a good thing that DICE have taken our feedback on board and implemented this system, but let me know what you think of this update down below in the comments. Give me your thoughts and I'll try and read through as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.